Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to save your Unity project onto GitHub using GitHub Desktop. This is very beginner friendly and recommend everyone to just go ahead and back up their project just in case something goes wrong. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to go over to desktop.github.com slash download and go ahead and download this for Windows 64 bit. And now once that launches, I'm just going to go ahead and just add an existing repository from my local drive because I've already made this project. And now you're going to select the local path to whatever project you're using. So I'm just going to go ahead and select challenge one unity learn. This is just a tutorial project that I, I did just to learn some unity. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this and hit select folder. And now you're going to see the local path is pointing right to that folder. And I'm going to click add repository. And it's going to say this directory does not appear to be a Git repository. Would you like to create a repository? So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And now it's automatically going to choose the same local path that we selected. And I'm just going to leave the name as challenge one unity. And for the Git ignore, I'm going to scroll all the way down and look for unity. And license, I'm going to leave as none because this is just going to be just to back up for myself, a solo project. And you can add a description, whatever you want. And for the initialize this repository with the readme, I'm going to go ahead and leave that unchecked. And now I'm going to click create repository and it's going to load and you're going to see a bunch of files shown on the left. And when I go over to the history tab up here, you're going to see all these files. And these are just because I haven't uploaded these yet. These are all change files and I can go ahead and click publish repository. So I'm going to keep the name as challenge one unity learn description blank organization. Uh, I'm going to leave that empty. And I'm also going to check, keep this code private because this is just going to be for my personal project to leave on GitHub. And then I'll click publish repository. And now this is going to be pushing to origin and all that good stuff. And I'm just going to go ahead and open GitHub and check that out. So now when I open up GitHub, you're going to see my repository over here. This is the one I just uploaded and it says uploaded now labeled as private. And now you can see that I have my assets folder, packages, project settings, and so on. So now I'm going to head over to my projects and open that challenge one Unity Learn. And now in this Unity Learn project, I'm just going to go ahead and open a script. And I'm going to go ahead and in the void start, I'm just going to add a simple debug.log and then in quotes, I'll write test. And then I'll hit save. I'm going to go back to my GitHub project and you're going to see the change is going to be displayed here. And I can go ahead and update this and add a description. So I'm just going to write added debug.log and then click commit to main. And now after clicking commit to main, I'm going to head over to this history tab here and it's going to show the update follow player x.cs was updated and it's going to show that debug.log test I created. And I can go ahead and just click push origin. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And now it's going to actually push it onto GitHub and refresh my GitHub repository. And now when I go over to github.com, click on repositories, go to my challenge unity learn, it's going to say updated now. So I'll go ahead and click on that and then go to my assets challenge one scripts. And I want to open that follow player x.cs that we modified. And now it's going to show this debug.log test just to show our changes were made. And that's a simple way of setting up your repository. Make sure you back up your projects in case anything goes wrong. Thanks for watching. Code of the road. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.